Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we're going to be painting the Spire's Brute Drone. Now this has to be one of my favorite models from the Spire's Army in Conquest, and it's actually really fast and really easy to paint. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this model. For this project, I've primed the model using Wraithbone Spray Primer from Citadel. Our first step for this model is to paint all of the armor plates on the model using Jokero Orange. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Karaberg Crimson and we're going to do a heavy wash of this over all of the orange armor panels. After we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take Rackarth Flesh and we're going to do a heavy dry brush over all of the armor and this is going to give that orange a slightly lighter and more dusty appearance. At this point, we're done working on the main armor color, so we're going to take Baneblade Brown and we're going to use this to paint all of the fabric wraps that are on the arms and legs of the model. We're going to shade all of the tan wraps on the model using Contrast Agaros Dunes. While that contrast paint is drying, we're going to take Elysian Green and we're going to use this to paint the tabard and any other decorative fabric pieces that are on the model. Now that the contrast paint is dry, we're going to take Xandri Dust and we're going to go back and dry brush this over all of the fabric wraps on the model. As sort of a side detail, I've taken some contrast Volupus Pink, I've watered it down a little bit, and I'm painting this in the gaps between the wraps on the model. And this represents the raw skin of the drone underneath the wraps. Now we're ready to begin working on the weapons of the model, and I've based these using Lead Belcher. Our next step is to take Mornfang Brown, and we're going to paint this on the ties that hold the banner to the spikes on the back of the model. If there are any other leather parts on your model, you'll paint those with this same color. Now we're going to take Agrax Earthshade, and we're going to wash this over the areas that we painted with the Elysian Green earlier, as well as anywhere that we painted with either the Lead Belcher or the Mornfang Brown. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Stormhost Silver and we're going to dry brush this over the weapons of the model. Next, we're going to bring back Elysian Green and we're going to layer this over the raised surfaces of the cloth on the model, but anywhere that the shade pulled up, we're going to leave darker. After we've finished with that layer of green, we're going to take Ogren Camo and we're going to use this to highlight the edges and most raised ridges of the tabard and other green cloth on the model. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take Xandri Dust and we're going to use this to highlight all of the ties on the banner on the back of the model. Now we're going to take Mephiston Red, and we're going to use this to paint the hair or plume that's coming out of the top of the head of the model. Once we have that red color in place, we're going to take Karaberg Crimson, we're going to do a heavy wash of this over the red plume. I had a little bit of a filming error and I failed to record the final two steps of this project, but after the shade is dry, you're going to layer the plume using Evil Sun Scarlet, and then highlight the ridges and edges of the plume using Wild Rider Red. 
And with that, we finished painting this brute drone. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a pretty basic and simple paint scheme, but sometimes that can be a good thing, especially when you've got a lot of models to paint. If you enjoyed this video today, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.